Hey, Shalom Makim, first and foremost. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakadash. Uh, double honor to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, to the true leaders of Israel, and peace, love, and salutation to you, Akim, that's out there pushing this truth and true sincerity. I'm the brother I know from the GMS Atlanta Church coming back up with you with another lesson. And it's a response video to the elder apostle Gabar. Make peace with your pops. Make peace with your father video that he did yesterday. And um, through the spirit and power of y'all, Bashim Al Shai, um, I actually got to talk to my dad today, which I haven't really talked to my dad in about three, almost four years. You know, so, um, you know, just to give a little background on what happened before I get into this scripture. Matter of fact, I'm against the scriptures, Exodus 20 and 12. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy power give of thee. All right, and that's a commandment in Exodus twenty, the Exodus the twentieth chapter. So um, I've seen that video. Apostle Bar has done this lesson at least two times, and the spirit. Matter of fact, um. I'm going to go to Job 33 right quick. You know, um, I think it's 33 and 15, I believe. Job 33 and uh, 14. For the most I speak of once, yea, twice, yet man perceive it not. And I didn't really get the understanding of the first lesson that he did. You know, Apostle Bar, you know, he was mentioning that his dad was hard on him as a child. And Apostle Gabar mentioned that his pops had put a blessing on him. He said, God's going to bless you, son. And um, I watched it the first time, and I was kind of shooken up emotionally about it. But, you know, last week, um, me and the brothers from the GMS Atlanta Church was really um, fellowshipping. And there was a brother that kind of stayed late because he came late. So, you know brother was staying late I said hey he, he, he still got social media I don't have social media so uh, I said hey man look up such and such which was my dad's last name and sure enough my dad's name came up on social media to make a long story short so basically you know he was like is that your dad I was like con so you know uh, I had a uh, Use the brother's phone to leave my message. I said, look, such and such, this is your son. I'm doing good. You know, this is my number. Call me up. So throughout the week, you know, I was just like, man, what's going on? You know, I had prayed to the Lord that uh, my dad would call me up. And I was like, man, what's going on? But all of a sudden, on Thursday night, Apostle Bar did this lesson. And um, I was about to fellowship with a couple brothers coming over through to the crib and whatnot, and um, he did his lesson, and he, w he was just going in, he's like, make peace with your father, and, you know, just to give a testimony of what was going on, you know, about four years ago, about 2016, when I first heard, came across the truth, you know, you know, you'd be in an overzealous stage, and I was kind of telling my dad, we the Hebrew Israelites, and, you know, we got to keep the law, set his commandments, not knowing that, um, Later on, as you mature in this faith, you got to be more circumspect, and you can't just, you got to walk in wisdom to those that were out. Matter of fact, let me see if I can get that scripture, man. I think it's Colossians, the fourth chapter, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Just bear with me here for a sec. Let me see, Colossians um, 4 and 5, kind. it says, walk in wisdom towards them that are without redeeming the time. Verse 6. Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how you ought to answer every man. And these scriptures give us the knowledge how to answer every man, even your father, because your, your father is a man. Your father is an Israelite, and the Apostle Bar was going into how if it wasn't for your father, you wouldn't be a, you wouldn't be an Israelite, man. And uh, man, I was I was preparing my food Thursday night. You know what I'm saying? Today is, well, 12.39. It's a Saturday now, but a day and a half ago, 
I was preparing a meal, you know, for the brothers to come over fellowship, and I had I had the bro I had the apostles video on the speaker, and I was listening to it. So in my back of my mind, I was like, man, I hope my dad just reach out to me. You know, I don't know what happened. You know, Lord forbid my dad passed away. I was like, shit, man. Like, hopefully he didn't, because I ain't talked to my dad in three years, and you know. <laughs> You know, our life is as a vapor out here in Babylon, man. So, you know, um, I was just sitting here BSing around. You know, I had some more brothers coming through on Friday night. I was waiting for them. I was just on the YouTube, dibbling and dabbling. And all of a sudden, I get this number. So it was my pops, but I didn't know it was him. You know, and he was like, uh, is this such and such? Because I'm trying to get in touch with my son. So he thought it was the brother on the social media page and he was like so I answered and said this is such and such and he said and he said this is such and such uh what's his name dad and I was like this is your son he was like oh okay yeah all right yeah what's going on son so you know um you know we was talking and I ain't talked like I said I ain't talked to my dad since 2016 and um it was it was beautiful you know what I'm saying my you know my dad my dad tries to you know my dad's my, he's still my dad. He, you know, he's still going to try to come at you a little hard, but he still loves you. You know how it is with, with, with Jake. So he was like, what's going on with you? You know what I'm saying? Um, so how do you feel? I said, I feel good. And my dad was trying to come at me. So, so what do you, what do you believe in right now? And really this, like the scripture says, I'm going to read it again. It says, walk in wisdom towards them that are without redeeming the tongue. Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how to, that you may know how ye ought to answer every man. And I'm not going to hit my dad upside the head with the scriptures, knowing that I ain't talked to him about a good four years. So I said, look, the spirit really is being on men to just increase and improve. I said, look, I'm doing good, but I can do better. You know, I'm taking a certain class or the certification which you know through the spirit i'm gonna be, i'm gonna be taking some some courses to uh you know increase my pay and to you know help me get through babylon because land backing off the uh, elder yatazak from dallas um he land backing off the video that the brother ariala did about staying on the offense you know i was basically telling my dad through the spirit like look i'm just trying to work on myself improve myself i didn't give my dad no scriptures because keep in mind, four years ago, I was I was overzealous. I was trying to get my dad the scriptures. I was trying to beat him upside the head with keeping the law. But at this point, I was like, yeah, I'm dad, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I, I got a job. I got a roommate, which is a brother. Um, I didn't tell him that, but I said, I'm, I'm good, dad. I, I, I love you. And um, I did, it's glad to hear from you. You know what I'm saying? So, uh. You know, I didn't hit my dad upside the head with the scriptures, man. And when you come in this thing, man, just just keep it circumspect, man. You know, what I learned from brothers in this in my camp, especially the brother that I'm roommates with, he didn't hit the brother up, he didn't hit his dad upside the head with the scriptures and tell him he's a Hebrew. It's like he just his dad knows something different about that man. You know what I'm saying? So you just gotta be circumspect. So I tell my dad I'm in the I'm in the self improvement. You know, we in the time of the Passover, it's the new year. I'm into the herbs. I'm into a better, we in springtime, and I'm in a better mentality. I'm taking these classes so I can, you know, up my pay and, and do better as far as the ministry and myself. So he was like, good. So um, the blessing was really, like Apostle Bar said, his dad said, God is going to bless you. My dad told me, he was like, well, you know, um, you know, this this business that you got into with me like five years ago, he was like, I suggest you sign up now because it's it was like a certain business and it was, had, had to pertain to gold. Make a long story short, make a long story short, he was like, you're still signed up. You know, what is it you want me to do to help you succeed? And this is, I ain't talked to my dad in about three, four years, bro. And I'm just like, bro, like what what's going on? See, that's why we listen to our apostles and elders, man. Apostle Gabar was nailing it down. Make peace with your father. Make peace with your father. And I told my dad I loved him. 
I said I'm doing good. I said I appreciate what he was doing for me when I was in my down period of time. And all of a sudden, I got a blessing. So potentially, I might have a business uh, avenue to get into that might help me make extra income while I'm here in Babylon, man. So like Apostle Gabar says, man, make peace with your father, man. You know what I'm saying? And um, he had mentioned my mother. And uh, like Apostle Gabar mentioned, you know, the negative facet comes from your mother trying to tell you how bad your dad was and this and that and the third. But you need to make peace with your dad, man. Like Apostle Gabar said, even if your dad doesn't go along to get with you, just make peace. Be the bigger man, you know. And, uh, hey, all praises to y'all about Shemel Shah for this, for this testimony, man. So, you know, Lord willing to help other brothers to get through that hurdle. And, uh, hey, man, I'm going to get into Ecclesiastes 3 and uh, 1. It says, Hear me, your father, O children, and do thereafter that ye may be safe. All right, now this is coming from the Heavenly Father, but we have biological fathers, all right? Yahweh Shah had a biological father, Joseph, all right? So how much more us that's in this faith, man? It says, For the Lord hath given the father honor over the children, and hath confirmed the authority of the mother over the sons. Whoso honor of his father maketh an atonement for sins. And the Apostle Bar, during that lesson, I could be mistaken, but he read this scripture at least three or four times, man. All right. And we're coming into that time of the Passover. So this testimony came right on time, man. All praises to you. How about Shemuel Shai? Because we're looking to be atoned for our sins and be delivered. And we're not only doing this for ourselves, but we're doing it for our family, man. All right. Mothers. Fathers, mothers, brothers, sisters, what have you. So it says, Whoso heareth his father maketh an atonement for his sins. And he that honoreth his mother is as one that layeth up treasure. All right, so I'm starting off with my pops, and it's going to lead down to my mother. Because my pops, he laid the seed for me to be an Israelite, according to Numbers 1 and 18. Okay? The lineage is not according to your mother, but according to your father. Verse 5. Whoso honor of his father shall have joy of his own children, and when he make of his prayer, he shall be heard. And that's beautiful, man. Knowing that you can um, make up with your father, no matter what the fuck happened with you and your father, man. You know, <clears throat> just make it right. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Just, just make it right. You're the bigger man. You know, like I said, from my testimony, I... You know, me and my, me and the brother, we was sitting there. Uh, me and the brother was sitting there talking, and he was on a social media platform. So I said, "Look up such and such name," and my pop's name came up. I laid him a message, and then a week later, my pops hit me up, man, and I got my pop's name saved. So you know, all praises to y'all by Shemuel Shah, man. All right. So Lord willing, the Lord hears my prayers and my supplications. Especially during the time of the Passover, man. We come into a heavy time for prophecy speaking. And the Lord's Passover is coming, man. All right? All right, it says, um, verse 6, He that honoreth his father shall have a long life, and he that is obedient unto the Lord shall be a comfort to his mother. And, you know, our parents don't necessarily know what's going on as far as us and the truth. Like I said, I told my dad the truth four years ago, so that's probably why the reason he was like, so what do you believe in? And, you know, Lord willing, you know, I talked to my dad and he said he works at a certain location, which is basically 20, 25 minutes where I live at. So, you know, Lord willing, um, Salakia for that noise, that was that was my speaker. Salakia, you know, Lord willing, he can come over, we can kick it. You know, Lord willing, you know, the brother that I'm staying with, we can come chop it up. And um, brothers can see, you know, my father. You know, that's beautiful, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to sit here, you know, if he comes through and giving him scriptures and whatnot. Just just kicking it like a man, having a couple drinks, talking business. You know, let my dad see that I'm okay, man. You know, it's like, that's a... Hey, so like it, bros. Uh, 
that's the most important thing, man. Let your parents, especially your father, know that uh, you ain't dead out here. You ain't being a fucking nigga. You know, no matter if they hear the truth or not, if you tell them that, let you know your parents, you're doing all right, man. So, uh, I'm just closing on out, man. It says Ecclesiastes 3 and 7. Uh, he that feared the Lord will honor his father and will do service unto his parents as to his masters. Honor thy father and mother both in word and deed that a blessing may come upon thee from them. All right. Verse 9. For the blessing of the father established the houses of children but the curse of the mother root of our foundations, man. So, uh, hey, man, I'm going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kagadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, man. You know, uh, especially towards uh, Elder Apostle Gabar, man. That was a beautiful lesson. And uh, peace, love, and salutation to you all. Are you talking about that? It's pushing the truth, the truth, sincerity, man. Amen. Like the apostle says, man, make peace with your father, man. Hey, shalom, Mike.